there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this double brick stitch twist chandelier seed beads earrings. I'm showing them so a beginner could make them. So if you have never done brick stitch, don't worry, I will show it step by step and you will be able to do this. If you're new here, consider subscribing with the bell for new absolutely free similar content. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough for these actions, guys. Check description for useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. You might also support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check down there in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for watching. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 on seed beads, silver and purple. Here I'm using earring findings in silver color. This is Nymo nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D and the color is black. Here I'm using size 11 beading needle. You could use size 12 even you could handle it with size 10 but it will be easier if you use smaller sizes of needle and here i'm also using scissors and now i'm going to take a little bit more than an arm span of thread on my needle and i'll be back okay guys and i'm starting my work by picking up four of those beautiful purple beads and i'm going to slide those down And here I'm going to leave a small tail, let's say 25 centimeters or 10 inches of tail. And what I do now is that I go through the first two of those four beads, okay? Now this is what I have. I have two columns of purple beads. Then I'm going in the second column. I take two more purples and I go back in circle through these two. Then I take two more, go like this, and backwards through these that I just added. Again, two purples. And after I have five columns of two purple beads, I want to add two columns of silver beads. Okay, again. Now add five more columns of purple beads. I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. And here I am guys, where I'm just adding my last purple beads. Okay, now I'm here and I want to take four purple beads here. And next row will be with less beads than the previous row. That is why when I take these four beads, I go under the second thread bridge that I have here between my beads. Okay, this is the first between the first and the second beat. And this is the second between the second and the third beat. And I go under it. If you're not familiar with the brick stitch and the double brick stitch, don't worry because I'll show it now. 
really nicely and you will be able to do this okay and after i go through the second thread bridge i'm going through the two beads that are closer to the center of my work and then i will make a reinforcement by going through those two and through those two again okay i'm taking two purple beads again and i go under the next thread bridge and brick stitch is all about going under the thread bridges that i have here in each step i'm going under the thread bridge and then i'm going through the newly added beads only the first step is with four beads like this two columns added together and the next steps are with one column of two beads okay then i take two more purple beads and of course i'm finding the next thread bridge and i'm going under it and then backwards through these two beads and that's it now after i have four rows of purples i want to add three rows of silvers okay i have this now and now i'm going to add four more columns of purple beads here i have four columns and here i will add four columns again okay i'll do this off camera and i'll be back to show you the result okay and i need here four purple beads i just finished this row with four columns of purple beads and now i'm taking four more and again as i will always do at this work i'm going under the second thread bridge that i have here and when i go under it i go through the column of two beads that is closer to the center of my work and after that i always reinforce this is what i do every time I need another purple column and what i need after that are four columns of silver beads i already added the first one and i need three more to go okay and after that add three more rows of purple beads i'll do this off camera and i'll be back okay and as i finish this row guys what i need next are four beads to start the next row like i did every time before and i go under the second thread bridge i pull then i go through the two beads that are closer to the center of my work and reinforce when i make decreasing brick stitch with less beads 
in the next row, I always reinforce the beads that I add. Then I need five rows of silver beads. Okay, I'm showing you the first one. Now add four more rows of silver beads and two more rows of purple beads and I'll be back. Okay guys, and when I added four more columns of silver beads and two more columns of purple beads, let me resume what we have in this row. We have two purple columns, five silver columns and two purple columns. In our next row, we want one purple column six silver columns and one purple column okay i take first two columns which are purple and silver and again as always as i did before i'm going under the second thread bridge here then through the beads that are closer to the center which in this case are my purple beads And then I reinforce. Okay, add five more columns of silver beads and one column of purple bead. In this case, you will have a purple, six silvers and a purple okay i'll do this off camera and i'll be back okay and i'm ready with this row one purple column six silver columns and one purple column and in the next row i will have seven silver columns and no purple columns if you have noticed in each row the silver columns grow with one and the purple columns from both sides decrease with one okay and i take four silvers and I go under the second thread bridge here. Go again through the beads that are closer to the center of my work. Then again here. And here. Okay, now since in this row I need seven silver columns, I need to add five more silver columns and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I have seven silver columns and in my next row I started absolutely the same way. I will have six silver columns. Again, I started with two columns together. So with four beads. I reinforce and now I'm going to add four more columns of two silver beads and I'll be back. Okay guys, and as I added here the sixth column, I have this row ready. And now off camera, I will add a row with five, with four, with three columns of silver beads. And I'll be back. It is absolutely the same way. Just decrease the number of beads in each row and you will be good to go. Okay guys, and as I continue beading, I'm here about to finish my work. I just added rows with five, four and three columns. And now I need to add the last row, which will consist of two columns. And here I have only two thread bridges left and I go through the second one, counting from the end where I am. This is the second one. And I pull like this. And then I go here through these silver beads. Then I take my earring finding and I will 
go back to these two again. It is attached here. And I want to make a reinforcement by going one more time through those beads. Okay. Now in my next step, guys, what I'm going to do is to put a needle on this end of my thread. You could put another needle or the same needle that you're using and then take it back to this end. Okay, I'll put a needle off camera and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and I just put a needle on this shorter thread that I have. And what I want to do is go in this direction through some beads. And you could either zigzag through the beads or you could make a small knot, whatever you choose. Now I will make a knot, make a loop, go through the loop I've made and pull. And then I'm going to zigzag through my beads, just like this. And like this and then I'm going to cut this tail thread okay now I'm going to put the needle back on this end and I'll be back okay and I put back my needle here and now what I want to do is exit here at this bit that is why I will go through all of those beads in this direction. I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you here. Okay, and I just exited here as you may see. I didn't want to bore you watch me. And now I'm going to flip my work like this. Or probably it will be easier for me to flip it like this. And in my next step, I want to take 21 purple beads, okay? And as I'm exiting from this bead, I'm going in the next, in this silver, the second silver, okay? And then in my next step, I'm going in the neighbor purple. Again, I take 21 purple beads and as I'm exiting here from the neighbor one, I go here under this one and in the next purple beads. You could go in one or two. It doesn't matter. Then I will flip because it's easier for me. Always flip your work the way it's easier and I want to exit out of the next two beads and then turn them again in this direction and I need 21 beads again and I always go under the previous fringe that I have and then in the next two beads that are on my way okay then I turn in this direction and go through the neighbor two beads I have 21 beads again I go here under those fringes here And then I pull. After that, I turn my work. And I go here in the next two. And at this step, you could directly go under here. Like this. And in the next step here, guys, I need 21 again.
aqui. Ok, I was not satisfied how this part worked, that is why I went here and reinforced it. And here guys, I need to add my last loop of beads, I'm exiting here. And I will go under and through those two silver beads. Ok, then I have this. Now to get rid of your thread, go make a small knot, then zigzag a little bit and cut it. Ok, I'll show you. Making here a loop, going like this through the loop and pulling. Then zigzagging through some beads, being careful not thread to show during this zigzagging. And I'm cutting this tail thread. Okay guys, and now my elegant Twisted chandelier double brick stitch earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe. Also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make new tutorials and you will be inspired often. Check description for a full list of materials, link to my Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. Please like, share and comment for more videos like this. And you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you for staying here with me until the end, guys. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.